Welcome to the Battle of American Muscle Cars mixed with some track cars from America. Today we're gonna see which one is the fastest Corvette. So I have a mix of straight line cars and track cars. So we're gonna take all of them to a quarter mile drag race and straight to the track to see which one will be the fastest. And I have the 2024 Corvette E-Ray, the 2023 Corvette C8 Z06 and the 2020 Corvette C8 Thing Ray and the 2019 ZR1 with the 2015 ZOC. Let's start with I don't know which car should I start with because there are many Corvettes in this game. I'm not gonna count all the old ones, I'm just gonna use the most recent one. Let's start with the E Ray. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna take them to a quarter mile drag race and I'm gonna collect all the times they did and at the end of the last race I'm gonna gonna compare the times i'm not gonna show you the times now you're gonna have to wait to see which one is the fastest Ooh. and v8 so if you didn't know this e-ray corvette is a hybrid car with 645 horsepower and 591 foot pound of torque and it weighs 3.8 90 pounds with a 6.2 liter v8 what okay yeah this is a hybrid i think it can drive up to 45 miles per hour until the engine starts and takes over and it's all-wheel drive at least today i got all-wheel drive cars okay i'm not sure if the other cars are all-wheel but i think i was oh maybe this one is all-wheel drive because it has the electric motors powering the front wheels and the engine the rear wheel because that's how most of the hybrid cars work if they are all-wheel drive i like the e-ray wheels more than the other cars it looks good let's go oh man the v8 let's go is this a 10 second car or it's i think it's gonna be a 10 second car no okay yes it's a 10 second car it was fast okay the time you'll know it after all the drag races of all the covets it is fast just know that it's a 10 second car let's see if the other cars will be a 10 second car or they're gonna be slow okay now that i was using the 2024 car i think i'm gonna go with the 2023 car i think that's the z06 is it also called the stingray no it's a covert z06 okay let's use the z06 i have two of them even the e-race i have two okay i think the, the e-race is now available at the auto show but the z06 is not it's still a rare car it's a hard to find car Z06. Okay, this is a track toy maybe it will be slower than the e-ray because it yeah because it has a big rear wing oh and i didn't check if it's a rear wheel car or a all-wheel drive car yep. maybe we'll figure it out oh it has carbon fiber wheels maybe we'll figure it out as we launch let's see let's see if i can figure it out ah i can't i can't Oh man, how did they manage to make this car sound different? How did they manage to make this car sound so different? Like the the E-Ray was a raw, sounded like a raw V8, but this one sounded more like a supercar. It has a high pitch, just like the V8s in the what is it called, the McLaren. It doesn't sound like a V8 on the E-Ray. Oh, there's a sandstorm. Okay, now let's check if it's all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. Okay, it's rear-wheel drive because it's a track car, obviously. Oh. Oh man how did they manage to make but the aventadors in the game they don't sound any different like sounds like the same car i forgot to tell the horsepower of this car so the z06 does it have more horsepower i think it has more horsepower seven 670 but it has less torque and the engine displacement is went down and it's rear wheel drive okay now i see it's all wheel drive so i think now we can go to the 2020 car car from 2020 which one is from 2020 yeah the z06 six has more horsepower wow the normal stingray has 800 horsepower with a 7.7 .7 liter v8 more than the e-ray more than the z06 but it's an old car what 800 horsepower 600 and f maybe this car will be the all-wheel drive system okay okay 
or maybe i must check maybe i upgraded the car okay let me check if i upgraded the car or not i know it also has some crazy customization oh man it even sounds different than the e-ray and what is it called the zoc it sounds very different oh yeah okay it was upgraded that's <laughs> okay yeah yeah i see now it was but it has a bigger engine and it has the less horse. Okay. Oh, oh man. Ah, uh, I think this is gonna be the slowest with 400 horsepower. I bet I gave it an engine swap, so it's gonna sound very different now. Uh, okay. Let's see if it will sound different than the Z06 and the E-Ray. So far, the E-Ray is the best sounding one. Yep. The horsepower is dropping from the 2024 E-Ray with 645 horsepower to the Z06 with 700, not 700, six, uh, 670 horsepower to the Stingray with 495 horsepower. Uh, and it's rear wheel drive also, so... Mm. It's gonna burn some rubber at the start of the line. I bet it will be slow. Oh, it has a smaller wing than the Z06. Nothing big. Oh, yes. It even sounds so different from the other cars. More of a raw V8 also, but not like the other one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the C8 Corvette from 2020 with 400 horsepower. And it sounds very different from the other cars. Now there are four variants of the C8. There's a new one with 1000 horsepower now, which bad is not yet. I hope Forza includes that car in this game. But in this game, we have, I think it's three variants. It's the C8, the Stingray, this one, and the Z06 and the E-Ray. But now we are going to the last generation. We're going to include the last generation. And now the horsepower goes up more than the Z06 more than the E-Ray what the ZR1 has a 755 horsepower it's rear wheel drive I like to compare this car to the Z06 because they are track toys but this one I think this one is gonna be faster than okay okay oh oh so this car the transmission is at the back of the car and this one the transmission is in the front oh I didn't know that about Forza that it shows where the transmission of the car is okay I see now it even has more torque Oh, let's see how this car does. I think it's gonna be more than the Z06. Oh, it even has a big rear wing. Okay. Oh, this is bigger than the Z06 wing. Oh, the V8. Let's go, let's go. Rear wheel drive. Is it a 10 second car? Okay, I'm not gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you later on. If you can guess, you can guess. Is the horsepower gonna go up now or it's gonna go down? I think the ZR1 is the is the, is the one Corvette that has the most horsepower. Yes. The Z06 from 2016, the last generation, has 650 horsepower. And the Torque 650 with a 6.2 liter V8 engine. America. Okay, let's see. So the last generation Z06 has less horsepower than the current generation. But the Stingray, the normal Corvette, has less horsepower than the I, I bet there was an uproar from last generation to this generation when they, they, the car lost the most power from 600 to 400. Wow. Okay, let's see how the Z06 goes. Let's see the rear wheel drive car. Why does this car have a number plate that says 1? Why? Oh, let's go. This one has a smaller wing than the, the, Z, the, the ZR1. Okay, if you're wondering which car lost, mm, lost the quarter mile drag race, it is pretty disappointing. So, the last car to get, okay, the last, last car is the 2020 C8 Stingray. It got 11.612 seconds. 11.612 seconds. And then, number two, it was the 2015 Z06. This car, it got 11.111 seconds. It is faster than the 2020 Z06. Not Z06 faster than the 2020 stingray the c8 hmm. yes so number five is the 2020 stingray with 11 with 11.612 seconds and then number four the 2015 z06 with 11.111 seconds number three the 2023 z06 with 10.978 seconds and then number two is the 2024 e-ray with 10.844 seconds and number one is the 2019 zr1 with 
10.811 seconds closer to the e-ray mm. but it is number one the 2019 is the fastest quarter mile corvette because it has 755 horsepower so it has more horsepower it's faster than the hybrid e-ray huh. okay now it's time to take the cars to the track and see which one is the fastest around the track if it's gonna be the zr run again hmm it's the z06 didn't get any improvement so now it's time to go to the track and i've got a new track i've been using the old one for the longest now i got a new one let's see our new track this is our new track mirage raceway no ai five lap if you want to check out this if you are interested in this track here's the share code right there on the screen okay again we gotta start with the e-ray obviously we gotta start with the e-ray because it started with it the last time let's see what the all-wheel drive corvette will do and the track our new track okay it's not my track obviously i found it on the event lab so <laughs> not mine i didn't do this one i tried to build a racetrack oh took time and it was very very hard good to come to a new track been doing that one for a long time now what what is this starting like okay it's not that oh man i love the sound of this corvette it's the best sounding corvette it will win that category if we if we have that category it will definitely win oh man this is a good track it kind of looks like laguna saika if you know that track oh break break oh man i wish all of them sounded like this but it does sound good oh man we have a long straight here and break 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 oh i think we have good break because oh that would have ended badly 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 that would have ended bad okay i love our new racetrack it is beautiful it's good to change things sometimes it is a good track and we have this section here don't break okay it's gonna slide anyway so and let's see how time how much time did it get what? maybe the z06 will be faster than the e-ray here because the e-ray was faster than the z06 on the drag race but i think here yeah, this car has has a chance because this car is rear wheel drive and it has 600 horsepower is it more than the z06 no is it more than the it's more than the e-ray so i think it will be better around the track so let's see if that is correct one minute okay it's time for the z06 now let's see the sound difference is this gonna sound good oh i told you this z06 sounds like a supercar like doesn't sound like it sounds like those cars 458 mclaren 720 yes it has that kind of exotic sound oh man don't drift don't drift i think it's driven because it's a rear wheel drive it sounds cool but i like the sound of the evade v8 but it kind of sounds exotic it kind of sounds exotic sounds more like a 458 than a muscle car oh man it sounds good Why is it spinning its wheels? Oh, let's go! Let's go! Now it's time for the Stingray. Let's see what the Stingray will do. Okay, you, you're not gonna see it. You're gonna see it at the end of the race. Okay, it's time for the Stingray, the 2020 Stingray Coupe. If it's a coupe, does that mean you can't? remove the top roof the roof because all covered you can remove the rooftop and all of them this car it looks good on its white body kit it has a white body kit in for the horizon 5 oh the sound has changed doesn't sound like the z06 or oh, the e-ray with its 495 horsepower is it gonna beat all of those cars so far all those cars had 600 horsepower this car is the low because they got the lowest horsepower Power, less horsepower than any of the last generations compared not all of them but not all of the last generation but i'm just meaning the last generation not the generation after the last generation but yeah you get the point get the point so yeah i hope it, it's faster i hope it's faster let's go let's go if it is faster it's gonna be a shock because Oh, there's a car with low horsepower. Okay, maybe it has more air. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, now it's time for the ZR1, the 2019 ZR1. Now we are going to the last generation. The car with the highest horsepower in this list. And we got another track car. This one should dominate like the Z06. Okay, I don't know if the Z06 dominated, but 
Let's see if this one also dominates. They should dominate. It is a must because they are built for the track. You can even see with the big rear wing. And they are rear wheel drive, so it should dominate. This is your playground. This is its playground. So you should do the most. And the other Corvette. Okay, it's trying to spin its wheels around the corners. I have to be careful right now so I don't spin out. Brake, brake! Oh, the brake saved me there. Down that corner, on that corner. I almost crashed. Oh, okay, let's go. I think we're almost at the end. This racetrack doesn't have many straight, but it has two straight lines. Oh, don't crash. And, and the last Corvette is the last generation Z06. It is not a track car, that one. The track car version of the Z06 is this one, the ZR1. The last Corvette. Let's see how it goes. I still don't get it. Why does this car have a number plate? Even though I removed all my number plate. Okay, here's uh, one straight line. This is a modern muscle car. It's where it falls under the category of muscle car. So, as you can see, it's trying to spin its back wheels when I'm turning in the corner. Yeah, you see, I'm fighting traction in the corners. It wants to burn that rubber, but I don't want to do that because yeah, I am on the track. I have to be careful around the corners while braking and while exiting the, the corners. So, oh, muscle cars are not for the track. That's why they made track version of this car. That's why they made the ZR1. And for the C8, that's why they made the Z06. So it can go to the track. And... Good. Okay, so here are the results. <laughs> Number one is the 2023 Z068 Corvette with 1 minute 3 seconds, 0 0.131. And then number two, the 2019 ZR1 Corvette with 1 minute 3 seconds, 0 0.431. So it was close to the Z06. And then number three, the 2015 Z06, the last car with one minute five seconds and then number four from number one on the drag race oh no from number two on the drag races to number four on the track race the 2024 e-ray with one minute seven seconds point two two four and then number last obviously even in the drag race it was number last the 2020 c8 corvette stingray with one minute seven seconds three zero two so it was close, even close to the to the E-Rate. So they are pretty close. There's not much of a bigger difference, but it is their difference. So the fastest is the Z06. That's what I thought. Should have been the Z06 because it's the Corvette that was made for the track. And obviously number two, the ZR1 was made for the track also. So those cars, I was I knew are gonna be either number one or number two because they are track toys and the other cars, ah, they can follow because they are not track cars.